Black Girl Nerds. Better shake your booties for Black Girl Nerds. Hi, guys. Thank you so Hi. much for your time. Hi, Jandra. Good to see you. Nice to see you. Good to see you both, too. I'm so happy that the two of you are together in the same place. <laughs> it's actually digital. Yeah. We're not. We're yeah. we're just technology's done a brilliant job of making it look like we are. <laughs> She's not here. <laughs> that, is, that is awesome. I thank you for your talents on this. <laughs> Uh, on this series it was so moving and it was so sweet and it tackles a lot of serious issues about loss and and coping and just so many things beginning with with you Isla I was thinking about the al the book the alchemist and how the universe conspires mm -hmm. and there are all these things that are conspiring to bring the two of you together with with your with your character Mary what what would you say was the most appealing to her about her to you and what interested you most when you first read this? I just thought it was a great, without giving any spoilers away, it was a great kind of metaphor for the baggage that we bring into a relationship and how incredibly, um, you know, how it's really like sort of jumping off a cliff falling in love. You, you literally sort of pass on your happiness and hopes onto this other individual and their vision of how, you know, they perceive you and how you perceive yourself in the relationship. And so I think it was more, it was less about the character as much as it was the circumstances. I thought it was a really interesting way to explore uh, a romantic love. And I hadn't really seen it. It was so unique. I've never read anything kind of like that where you actually go into the pain of it rather than just sort of focusing <laughs> on the, hormonal effects of, you know, the chemistry, if you will, of, of romantic love. Mm -hmm. Josh, you are, your character does a lot of emotional heavy lifting with dealing with a child and trying to be there everything, but still maintain your own sense of self. What would did what would you say you learned about yourself after diving into this and your own methods of dealing with balance and loss and work life balance and all the just all those different type of things that take us off our square so to speak it's a great question i mean i i it, 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 twofold one i think <laughs> learning the balance of how you need to be there for your kids and allow them to go through what they need to go through without sort of dictating how to resolve it is a super important thing i'm actually going through now is my daughters at that age where she's having her own changes happen and and you know the the second part of it is that it actually really resolved a lot of the issues I had I grew up in a in a single house with you know my parents getting divorced when I was six and I lived with my mom and there was a lot of that sort of Gary and his daughter relationship that I, I sort of reminded me of my own journey kind of going through trauma and grief and there was this blame that I sort of put on myself growing up as a kid and and it allowed me to reach into to to sort of kind of I don't know find a, a little bit of closure in in a weird way that was that was really interesting and unexpected mm -hmm. I look back to you I enjoyed just as much as the emotional depth of this of the show there's so much comedic banter between the two of you and it just it just rolls out of you so naturally what is doing comedic type of performance how does that affect you as a part what does it do for you that say more serious roles don't how does it I think it's just it's a little more exhilarating I think because in a way you can you don't I don't have a when I watch a sort of a, a a drama that doesn't quite work I don't really have a visceral reaction but watching comedy fail is excruciating so I think just the art of it the sport of it if you will is just so much more terrifying and of course with any anything that challenges you obviously it's more rewarding and exciting if you can get it right um, and then just I grew up uh, going to a bunch of different schools from the time I was very small I have like a complicated cultural identity I was born in 
oh man and then my parents are Scottish and I was raised in England and moved to Australia and I had extra large ears and red hair from the time I was a child so I've used comedy as a tool to connect with people since I was born almost and uh, so I think I feel very safe when I um, when I'm able to make a joke or I'm able to take stress out of a scenario so to work in comedy is always going to be my you know my true my it makes my heart sing for sure. Well, I loved both of you in this. You two were so cute. And I just, I really, really liked it. I found a lot of Thank joy you. in it. Thank you for your time and talking to me. Really Thank appreciate you. it. Thank, Thank you. you. Take care. Thank you, A, for your time. I appreciate it. Thank you so Pleasure. much. Thank you. Uh, I got to thinking about our two characters, Mary and Gary, and how the universe is conspiring to bring them together, like the alchemist. With bringing this to life, your personal experience and journey, was it a similar type of alchemy experience where a lot of things conspired, or was the road difficult and arduous to get it to fruition? <laughs> um, look, look, there is a lot of my own life experience in, in the characters and in the world of this show. Um, there was a there was a coincidence that led to this story completely revealing itself without giving away too much of what that coincidence is, because it's very much related to the surprise of this show. Um, but I was fortunate enough to be in a time and a place in my life very specifically where this coincidence happened, which made me then go, oh, what, what if what if you were to add this element to this story? And, and that just then kind of, to be honest, kind of made everything, I mean, literally life and death for the characters, but it, but it, but it provided so much context uh, and so much baggage to, uh, to the characters that it just made it, I think, hopefully something very fun for the audience to be able to watch and put their own personal experience into it as well. There are some very beautiful tender moments and there's a lot of very serious themes with coping with loss, uh, with children's ability to recover from loss. There's a lot of very, very serious, deep topics that the show examines in the midst of the other things that are happening around it. What what was there? Why is this a, a a meaningful road for you to kind of tap into that sense of loss and how we cope in the aftermath? Look, I think you know it's something that uh, I mean most most of us have had sort of exp exp some form of personal experience dealing with loss or um, you know all the different degrees of that. For me, it was actually about tapping into that, giving the audience a safe space in a way to be able to put their own personal experience into, into the world of these characters, but at least at the same time, still making it fun as well too. So I think, you know, I'm a big believer in something, if something is actually fun and entertaining, it does two things. It, it allows you to sort of subvert those feelings and really sort of pack it full. You know, you, you get, a, I get a huge amount of satisfaction from being able to to take something that that looks like it's it's one thing and then reveals itself to be something else, and you know there was a huge deal of um, I guess emotional catharsis for me to to tell this story with these characters, and hopefully, hopefully the audience will will feel the same. You know, I'd like to think that they have one idea of what this show is when you start watching it, but by the end of it, you realize it's something else entirely, which is also a metaphor for what happens to the characters in the show as well too so by being able to do that for me just put the audience in our characters shoes so much more and but at least go, it gives you the safe space to uh i guess kind of laugh and enjoy at the more extreme things that happen in the show as well mm -hmm. i isla and and josh were just lovely together i loved the way they communicated. It just, it was very natural. I felt like I was kind of peeking in the window whenever they would have these long exchanges with them. Did you all have a sort of mantra or things you did as you approached the day of work or just something you did collectively since a lot of scene sharing occurs with the two of them on how you would approach their, their chemistry? Look, I think the, the, the main thing was actually to to, to play the emotion, to always, apply, to always play the truth of the scene. Um, and if you played the truth of the scene, then that in turn 
is what would make it funny. So uh, a, a big part of what we all had to do, continually had to do, was just made sure we made it real. The more real you made it, the more high stakes it became, the more high stakes it became through that reality, then in turn, that's what would make you laugh. So you wouldn't play gags, you would play it straight. And I was really lucky in having two actors of their calibre, uh, knowing that they would be able to play that dramatically gave a huge amount of satisfaction for me being able to see them in a in a way playing characters that we haven't quite seen them sort of play before as well too so it was always just about playing the truth and if you played the truth then everything would work itself out after that for sure well i thank you i love stories like this with something that's going to happen and our audience is going to see what's going to happen when they tune in and that made it wholly enjoyable for me thank you again for your time thank you so much cheers you too Better shake your booties for black girl nerds.